You know, when a new company enters the analog gear market, more often than not, it takes a minute for it to be recognized and prove that they can make great gear. Not the case for GameLab. GameLab came out swinging with the Empress first and then the Dictator and then the Bishop and now the Governor. A truly unique and innovative design. A dual stage tube optocompressor that redefines optocompression. Let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss West TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for free plugins, special discounts and offers and visit the new website mixwesttv.com for all the mix and mastering courses. There's a brand new one, producing and mixing professional vocals. This one is gonna be the ultimate guide. In there, you can also book mix and mastering with me, private lessons and mix consultations. If you wanna access all the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button, become a Mix West TV member, get all the perks and watch all the members only videos. If you haven't already, check out Bella Kelly's new single video, Felony, available on all platforms, and the video is here on YouTube, of course. Finally, if the videos are helping you, please consider using the Super Thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. Let me tell you a couple of things about this compressor before we go into the specs and the audio examples. Around NAMM, so last January, the guys from Game Lab brought the prototype of this compressor on my other studio, so I got to play with it a little bit and hear it in action even before its final form. And I was blown away. And I am not even a big fan of optocompressors. I know, blasphemy, right? But this, if anything, is a testament of how good this compressor is. While the dual stage optocompressor design is a 100% original design by GameLab, this is, so to speak, not new. In fact, this same compressor with less features is present in the channel strip that we reviewed here on the channel, The Bishop. By the way, one of the best preamps in the market, period. And even though the compressor present on that channel strip is just a part of the channel strip, it was so good and people liked it so much that they made a standalone version, dual mono stereo with some extra features. And this is how the governor was born. If you're familiar with optocompressors, this one will kind of mess with your mind because you have the squeeze that you would expect from an opto and at the same time you don't have that choked feeling that some optos have when they get pushed not only that but because of the two stages you won't have to find a compromise between the big swings and the big transients and and the lower level material because basically it's like you have two compressors in series and you will see you can decide how much gain reduction each stage does independently and based on the material this is mind-blowing on paper it's much much better when you hear it in action because sometimes this type of design seem cool on paper but they don't necessarily translate in real life and we default to the classics right not the case imagine combining the two most loved optocompressors out there and not even putting them together, putting them one after the other. And it only sounds open, but we have extra feature like the air band, which I still can't wrap my head around there how they did it. We have a two boost and we have one of the coolest looking metering sections probably in the market and a lot more things. So without further ado, let me show you the front panel and the specs. The governor is a vacuum tube based optical compressor with a unique dual slope design, employing two threshold points and two different slopes, which means two different transfer curves for the compression. Smoother the first one, harder the second. This makes the governor arguably the most versatile optocompressor out there. We start with three different types of compression, soft, medium, and hard. And then we have the two boost. In the middle position is off, and then you can decide to go full. This is very similar to the two boost present in the Empress, or you can set it in air band. This is the magic, just like the Bishop, this will boost the top end based on how much compression you are doing. So it's basically a dynamic air band in the analog world, absolutely amazing. The controls are mirrored for the second channel at the bottom, but 
we have a link switch. When you engage this, you can see that the top channel controls both. That is pretty cool. And then we have the two thresholds for the first stage, first slope, and for the second stage, second slope. When it's linked, the threshold at the top control the whole unit, so even the second channel. Almost all the parameters are controlled with one set when it's linked. The only ones that are not linked are the output and the side chain, which we'll see in a minute, but these are stepped, so they are very, very easy to recall. Let me introduce you to this design. First of all, we have this amazing metering section here. You can see at the bottom, there's your output, and you can see we have two metering at the top for the gain reduction, the GR1 and GR2. So the GR1, you can see as I turn the first threshold, all right, you can see that the first slope is compressing the signal. And when I turn on the second threshold, you can see the second slope start working. Now, look immediately what happens, right? If I turn the second threshold back, you can see that the first stage does all the compression. It does more compression than if I introduce the second stage, right? So the second stage takes some of the workload of the first stage. And the difference is you can also see it in the GR metering. The first one is smoother, has a, we can say, softer knee, while the second one has a harder slope, a harder knee, and a more aggressive compression. And of course, you can further shape and fine tune this based on the compression type we've seen at the beginning, right? So you can see from the metering, even the amount of compression without touching the threshold that the second stage is doing in hard mode, and it's much more than in soft mode, right? So even not touching the thresholds, you can see the relationship between how much one stage is compressing versus the other changes based on where the type of compression is. And then we have the side chain filter with six positions. We have external side chain, so you have inputs on the back, you have off, so, so there's no HPF filter in the detector. Full signal triggers the compressor. Then we have 40, 70, 180, and 250. And of course, these two are also independent even when linked. We have a bypass switch, which when it's linked, you can see the top one controls both. That's very cool. And so the attack and release. These are also controlled by the top channel if you are linked. So you don't have to move four sets of controls. We have auto, which to be completely honest, is the best most of the time. But if you want to tweak, we have fastest, faster, fast, slow, and slowest. Same for the release. And here we have the power button. While this compressor will surprise you because it can handle extremely dynamic material, which is not really what your run-of-the-mill optocompressor or even the top optocompressor do. My favorite application for this so far, I had it for about a week. It's definitely vocals. It might be one of my new favorite compressors for vocals, for ballads, female vocals, anything that needs some classy and silky sound, and yet that opto squeeze that we all love. With that said, when you put it in aggressive mode and start tweaking attack and release and the combination of the two slopes, this thing can do damage on drums, parallel compression, loops, and much more. And I love it because the overall tone of the box is extremely sweet. It's that classy tube sound, but it's never too much color. Without further ado, let's hear it in action. We start with vocals. The first thing I want you to hear is the box tone. No compression, unity gain, with and without the circuit. However far away, I will always love you, however long I stay. I will always love you, whatever words I say. I will always love you, I will always love you. You hear just the harmonic content running through the unit is already kind of mind blowing. No two boost yet, no nothing, just running it through it. And now I'm gonna give you the two boost really quick. However far away, I will always love you. However long I stay, I will always love you. Whatever words I say, 
Alright, you hear something. If you you can go back and watch my review of the Empress on the governor, it seems like the full two boost is slightly more polite, let's put it this way, which I absolutely love it because it makes it so versatile. Now let's start compressing. I'm gonna start with auto attack and kind of medium release. Whenever I'm alone with you You make me feel like I am whole again Whenever I'm alone with you You make me feel like I am fun again However far away I will always love you However long I stay I will always love you Whatever words I say I will always love you I will always love you This air band is one of the coolest function I can think of in any compressor out there. You heard it. First of all, it's so subtle. It's not one of those top end that it gets harsh, that it gets bright, and you're gonna use it once every blue moon. This is probably, this has been on since I had the compressor nine time out of 10 because it's dynamic. It depends how much you're compressing. The air band is automatically compensating for the top end loss, so to speak and add in this sheen at the top, which is just sounds beautiful. Now I'm gonna start introducing the second stage. Whenever I'm alone with you You make me feel like I am whole again Whenever I'm alone with you You make me feel like I am fun again However far away I will always love you However long I stay I will always love you Whatever words I say I will always love you I will always love you It's, to me, it's, it's just almost sorcery uh, <laughs> Now I think it's clear It's basically like you have two optocompressors One next to the other The first one with a gentle slope The second one with a harder slope The way it handles material and dynamic It's crazy And trust me, you would have to have your hands on it To really fully understand it Because every move is a different shape Is a different type of transfer curve Is a different type of vibe And it's not just a compressor This is a creative tool Whenever I'm alone with you Whenever I'm alone with you You make me feel like I am fun again However far away I will always love you However long I stay I will
it's crazy because especially the amount of compression that I'm doing, all right? Let's try some other material. You see this world that we're living in? I see all other life just giving in cause of you. You're so hot that you could turn sun blind. On the mysteries of love and fear. She's got me working through the night. I take the fortune and fame. Don't need the critics acclaim. At the end of the day, the girl's what I want. You see this world that we're living in? I see all other life just giving in cause of you. You're so hot that you could turn sun blind. On the mysteries of love and fear. She's got me working through the night. I take the fortune and fame. Don't need the critics acclaim. At the end of the day, the girls with I want. All right, so you see, I'm not fully new with level. I really want you to focus on the action of the two different slopes and the two different stages and how well they handle the dynamics. And I don't think there's any other compressor that sounds like this. I know for some people out there, understanding compressor is still a work in progress, but I am sure that experienced engineer will recognize this squeeze is with the dual stage is something that no other optocompressor does. Period. And what I said in the intro that I am not, I know, blasphemy, the biggest fan of optocompressors, I absolutely love this thing because what I usually tend not to like about optocompressors is they are really tied to the optocells and the behavior. So it's either a hit or miss. Sometimes they work amazing. Sometimes you wish the release was a little bit different or the transfer curve or when that one big spike come up, it wouldn't swing too much. That's what this solved. All these things that would prevent me to use an optocompressor, even if I like the squeeze and I like the behavior, the governor solves. Let's see how it works on rap vocals. Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kinda godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me, I already spawned twice. Y'all some bottom feeders, theater clowns. It's robbing season, I'ma beat them, fucking kneel them down. Make them cop a plea for freedom, leave them bleeding out. I'm Carlito, mob leader, Don Vito, Nino Brown. And I'm OG like Montana, I don't mean French or Henna, more like Tony from Havana. Cause if they try to throw me in the handcuffs, I got my Cody's with the handguns to puppet police if they act tough. Cause we got like four keys in the back of the OG, we roll deep, man, it go deep in the bang bus. We so street like old teeth and bandana, so please, y'all so weak, y'all like both knees on a grandma. And y'all be drip dropping in Gucci tops and Louboutins, New Balenciagas, Louboutins. I'm still rocking Fubu hoodies with some Puma socks like it's 92 and I'm popping locking on boulevards. Man, fuck a Medgar Hoover cops. Fucking losers, watch me write these bars in Google Docs. Then spot me copping Glocks and hopping out of Uber cars to pop so many Rugas off. These goobers won't know who to call. And when they get blasted with the chrome, the blood splatters in the pattern like fucking Atlas out the dome. Ah, carry my city like I'm Atlas with the globe. And if these rappers didn't know I'm the fucking baddest, let them know. Let them know I'm the Leviathan. Let them know, let them know I don't admire them. Let them know the Messiah's back with the violence and the lions are on the prowl and we'll find them in the lion's den. Tell me another optocompressor <laughs> that can do what I showed you at the beginning. You can go back and rewatch the beginning of the section when I basically only had the second stage, the harder knees doing all the gain reduction. That sounded like I was running it through a classic fat compressor. And you know what I mean. And it's crazy because this is a tube opto. So we have the tone of the tube. By the way, I didn't mention in the beginning, but we have obviously transformer output. So that's also where the colors come from. And the air band compensate for that top end. Like I said, this is just default for me. It sounds so darn good. All right, I'm gonna play this bit in particular because uh, her voice here, her singing has one bit 
you will hear it that is extremely dynamic. Like we are talking about a 18, 19 dB swing without the compression first. Wash away all the things you've taken And I don't care if I don't look pretty Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking With the governor. Wash away all the things you've taken And I don't care if I don't look pretty Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking Wash away all the things you've taken and I don't care if I don't look pretty Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking Wash away all the things you've taken And I don't care if I don't look pretty Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking I mean I heard this before because of course I prepared this for the video and still what I'm running through it I can't wrap my head around it the way it handles the one spike there in dynamics besides the tone of this thing which is really sweet but the way it handles those spikes in dynamics I can only do that with two compressors and you see me uh, this I kind of no don't change this that much because the auto attack really works well like program dependent and the release can vary one click up one click down from here but it's so musical all I ever wanted was to stand my ground big words to confuse and spin your mind around but every little stab just takes me further down I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found Babe, it's nothing you did So stop talking stupid We gave it a taste, now it's done I'm out for self-healing You ain't got that feeling I am the one that I love this one is a good example because you will recognize the classic squeeze that we like about the Optos. That's pretty much it. And you heard how it smooths out the top end, the transformers, add the collar, the tube circuit, just sounding amazing. Acoustic guitar. Classic sounds for the pop acoustic guitar. This thing is really, really versatile. Let's run some stereo material through it now.
I cannot think of any other oppressor doing this to a drum. There's such a wide palette of sounds and behavior. You can make it snappy, you can make it over compressed, you can make it pumping, you can really shape the transfer curve and attack and release to make this compressor do whatever you want. All right, let's try a full mix. Never I would have imagined an optocompressor to work so well on a full mix. It's just usually not my taste. There's a lot of engineers out there that use optos on two bus or even mastering. This is the first time that I, like you see my gear list, right? I don't have many optos. It's got this euphonic, subtle, and never too much color that I like more by the minute. Before you try to come at me. And I think in this last example, the governor showed us something that the tone is also program dependent. In this one, you heard how much mid-range and presence it brought up on top of giving more density. I will say one thing that when you tweak on complex material, the second slope, it's very, very sensitive. This is why it's not stepped because a hair more or less will make it react too much on complex material, so a full mix or maybe an orchestra or piano, something like that. But it also gives you more versatility. Man, this was fun, was it? I did not want to stop playing with it. I probably recorded a lot more than I will put in the video. Otherwise, the video is going to be two hours long. But I'm so blessed that, you know, this is my job and I get to play with all these amazing toys. But this was Game Lab Governor. Dual slope, dual stage tube optocompressor. This thing is bonkers. Like everything Game Lab makes though, that's the problem. Because the other units are no less. But I gotta say, the tone of this box alone 
it might take the cake, but um, it's an amazing compressor, like there's no doubt. I hope the video translates well. I hope the compressor and what it's capable of doing and the subtleties in the action really translates because this compressor deserves it. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to respond to everybody. The link to the governor is gonna be in the info box down below. I know many of you guys were waiting for this video since I posted on Instagram the unboxing and everything. The unit is available, so do what you have to do. Just don't blame me. If you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, check out Bella Kelly's new single felony. The video is here on YouTube give it a shot visit the new website for all the mix and mastering courses the new one producing and mixing vocal you're gonna love that one you can book mix and mastering with me in there and all the other services consider using the super thanks or grab some merch to support the channel thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already stay safe see you next time